in Parshas Vayeshev, we saw how Yosef reached the epitome of a superhuman activity. He was able to overcome all temptations in the Misa, in the episode of Eshes Potiphar. Who could imagine how he got the strength to do so? The Gemara in Sota says he really inherited it from his father. But in this week's parasha, we're going to learn about the ability of Yosef to forgive his brothers, to reconcile with them, and to give them love and compassion. Once again, when you think about what they did to him, to Yosef, and how they ruined his life almost, how is it possible humanly to forgive, forget, and to create that reconciliation? My Rebbe said it had to do with his mother, with Rachel. But I would like to suggest another possibility, or maybe even two possibilities. Number one, the Pasuk in Parshas Kedoshim tells us, The Yushalmi asks the question, what's the connection between thou shalt not revenge and the mitzvah of Yahavta And the Yushalmi answers with a mushal. Imagine a case where you're using your right hand with a knife to cut something that you're holding in your left hand, and you inadvertently cut your left hand. Would it make sense for your left hand to go back and cut your right hand in revenge? It's all the same person. It's all the same goof. If we understand it on the deepest level, undermines the possibility of revenge. We're all one. We're goof echa. Klal Yisrael is one entity indivisible. So would it make sense to take revenge and for one hand to strike the other hand in revenge? And this is what Yosef understood. But perhaps we could suggest something even more profound. And that is that when a person is the victim of hatred, of animosity, as Yosef was, he might want to ask himself the question, why is that so? And although we usually put all the blame on the Acha Yosef, but there's also blame to be placed on Yosef. Later on, when Yosef takes Shimon into incarceration, he breaks out in tears. The Rabbim says that Tshuva is expressed and manifested by tears, by crying out. Yosef also does tshuva, not just the brothers. And in that act of tshuva, Yosef realizes that instead of pointing the finger outwardly to blame others, point it inwardly to blame yourselves. Yiratzon may be as will that we can emulate Yosef HaTzadik, not only in his ability to overcome all these temptations, but also in an ability to thank, to thank Hashem for giving him the strength to forgive and forget to realize that we're all goof echad, it doesn't make sense to take revenge, one hand striking the other, and also to appreciate that sometimes we too are at fault. And if we do this, then Amir Tzashem, we can hope to bring about the Yeshua and the Geula, the Meher of Yomeno Amen. Thank you very much.